Travel is an amazing way to experience new places. Wellness is being physically, mentally, and emotionally healthy. The Sweet Dreams Wellness Travel Podcast is all about exploring travel and wellness. I'm Barbara Tuckett, your host and the owner of Sweet Dreams Travel. Part of our emotional and mental health is connection, and I believe that traveling with the intention to connect can bring wellness to your life. In this podcast, I explore traveling for connection, connecting with places and experiences, connecting especially with people, the people you're traveling with, the people you meet, and especially connecting with yourself. I want your travel to improve your wellness. Hello, my friend. So happy to be here with you today. I hope you're happy to also share this fun topic that we are going to talk about today and our topic is the nine myths about river cruising and so i'm going to talk about river cruising specifically all the questions or things that maybe you didn't even know to ask about questions you didn't even know you had so let's jump in and get started first of all this picture that i'm showing is not me. It is one of my good friends, Andrea. And this is on a river cruise that we went on together. Would you love to have a travel experience that is unique? It has the luxurious feeling of cruising combined with in-depth local and these wonderful picturesque destinations. If this sounds like something you would like, then a river cruise may be just what you are looking for. When I talked about it and when I introduced the subject, did you just have a little thought of, oh, that's probably not for me. This might be interesting, but maybe it's not like totally within reach for me. So that is why we are jumping into this topic. Let's explore some river cruise myths and maybe you'll just have a different perspective or maybe you'll just learn a little bit more about river cruising. Myth number one, river cruising is for rich people and I'm not rich, so I definitely wouldn't qualify for a river cruise. Of course, there are luxury options. Of course there are. That is why this myth originated, but there is such a wide range of options to suit various budgets. There are so many different options. And so whether you are working from a small budget or a medium budget or you know, a large budget and you just kind of want what you want, no matter what your circumstance is, there is a cruise for you. There are affordable a la carte cruises. So basically almost like an ocean cruise where you're just paying for the cruise and then you can add on different excursions or different other amenities as you want to. You can pay to upgrade or to add on different things. So there's everything from that, which I call a la carte to all-inclusive options where everything is included. Literally everything is included, not just your meals and drinks, but like all your excursions and your gratuities and your like every single thing is included. There are even cruises that have the transportation from your house included to get you to the airport so that then you can fly in and have your cruise experience. So there is every option from like just kind of the bare bones and you get to add on what you want to the whole enchilada of everything being included. So you can find a river cruise that fits your wallet without compromising the quality or without compromising the enjoyment and the experience that you're going to have. Partly it depends on what cabin type you choose. So every single river cruise cabin is an ocean view. Some of them are windows and some of them are you know, wide open sliding glass doors, balconies. Some are step out balconies. Some just have the railing across. So as you slide open the door, that's called a French balcony. So there's so many different cabin types that it really depends on you. You just pay for what you get. And it depends on, you know, if if you want to pay for an upper one or a lower one. And it also depends on what time of year you go as to pricing. And the river cruise line, of course, and also the just the type of experience that you want to have overall. You can go with a more moderate or a more luxurious 
experience. So many options. Let's move on to myth number two. River cruises are boring. Some people think that river cruises are just uneventful. They're really bland. There's really like, it's not that exciting. I beg to differ. I believe and I have experienced that river cruises offer a great blend of relaxation, but also fun. So every single evening, your cruise director gives you an overview of the next day's activities. And so they're going to tell you all the different options and all the different things that are going on, both on board and off. The cool thing about a river cruise is you are in at least one port, sometimes two ports every single day. And so you are not spending a ton of time on board unless you choose to. Of course, you don't have to get off the ship. But so there's so much to do off the ship that like you're really not spending as much time as you are on an ocean cruise on your ship. Every evening you get an overview of what is going on for the next day and the activities that you get to choose from. And of course, during the day, as you are in these local destinations, you can wander through the cobblestone streets. You can discover the local history. There are live music performances. There are local dances. There are cooking classes. There are Oh my gosh, so many fun things to do. I really feel like there is something for everyone. And if you want to do the provided excursions or included ones or the ones that are offered, you can. If you don't want to, you totally don't have to. There are even options where you can just like take the bikes that are offered on board. Not every ship has bikes, by the way. But if it is a ship that offers bikes, you can just take bikes and go exploring off on your own. There's like every variety of things to do. And so I feel like myth number two is totally busted. River cruises are not boring. On to myth number three. River cruises are for old people. So I think maybe this goes along with the boring one or the expensive myth. But anyway, yes, of course, there are river cruises for older people and older people love river cruising. I think that is because they are smart, but there are also options and river cruise lines that are looking for a younger traveler. And so don't feel like the stereotypical older, you know, grandmas and grandpas and great grandmas and great grandpas. And those are the only people who river cruise. That is so not true because there are river cruises that are looking for a long, younger demographic. If you're single, if you're in a couple, if you're in a family, all of the different ages are welcome. Now, I do want to just tell you as far as if we're talking about ages, there are some cruises that do allow children, but they usually recommend children eight and up. There are some specifically for families, but river cruises generally, like they don't have the kids clubs and the, the big, I guess, push to get kids on board. Mostly your kids would be doing whatever you are doing and the different activities. Like I said, there are plenty of activities to choose from and lots of fun things, but that's why they recommend eight and up. Basically, your kids would have to be wanting to kind of experience and enjoy the same types of things that you would. Anyway, river cruising are a super fun, intergenerational, multi-gen type of trip to take because everybody can go off and do whatever they want, do whatever activities or tours or things during the day, and then you can always eat together and share your experiences. And they're just super fun. It's really a stress-free, hassle-free way to travel at any age. It, it totally is. So river cruises are not just for old people. Myth number four, river cruises only sail in Europe. And if you've been to Europe, maybe you're like, well, I've been to this country or that country, or I, you know, I've been to Europe and it's great, but I don't feel like I could really see anything new on a river cruise. This is a myth because although Europe is famous for river cruise destinations, such as like the Danube River or the Rhine River or the Seine River, there are other river cruise destinations which are super amazing. How about the Mekong River in Southeast Asia, the Amazon River in South America, the Nile River in Egypt? There are seriously other places where you can go and sail on these amazing rivers. So of course, every destination has these totally unique cultural experiences and scenery, and you just get to immerse yourself in a different part of the world. There are so many different places where you can go on a river cruise that you may not have ever even thought of before. Talk about like river cruising and getting to experience an African safari, you know, 
that type of thing. Wouldn't that be amazing? They do not only sail in Europe. Myth number five, you need a passport for a river cruise. This one goes right along with number four. They only sail in Europe. That is not true. River cruises also sail in the U.S. There are lots of rivers that offer river cruises and really fun, amazing. Some are like little paddle wheel type of river cruise. All, all of them are modern ships, but some of them are patterned after the old paddle wheelers and some of them are, you know, more sleek and modern looking. Some of the rivers, I'm not going to go through all of them, but some of them are like the Mississippi River, the Columbia River, fall foliage cruises up in the Northeast and the Northwest. There are Southern Charm cruises. There are historic USA cruises. This is one of these pictures is of a reenactment of at Gettysburg. And so there are just some amazing themed cruises in the U.S. There are themed cruises outside the U.S. as well. So if you have a certain theme that you're going for, then let me know and I can totally help guide you and give you some information. But no, you do not need a passport for a river cruise. Here in the U.S., there are some great ones, some fantastic river cruises. Myth number six, river cruises are crowded because they are just such small ships. Okay, that is totally false. River cruises provide a way more intimate and cozy atmosphere compared to ocean cruises. Because they are so small, they only allow, generally the general range is like from 130 to 150 ish up to around 200. There is a double wide ship that I know of that's, you know, essentially twice as big, but even they only allow up to 250 people max. So they are small and fun and you kind of run into the same people all over and get to know several of the people that you are cruising with. So it's really fun. They have personalized service. The crew to passenger ratio is really high on river cruise ships. And so you get this great service. There are uncrowded public spaces and it's just amazing, an amazing way to float down a river and be able to see all these great things and experience all these amazing things. There are different size staterooms. There's private balconies, just like on an ocean cruise where they have their private balconies. Some river cruise ships even have twin balconies, which one of the balconies is an actual balcony where you go out and can sit down and relax on the balcony. And the other balcony in your room is just a sliding glass door. It's the French balcony that I was talking about earlier. There's some really great combinations of rooms. There are also great places on board to just enjoy these breathtaking views of the passing landscapes. Every river cruise ship has an upper deck and it's just, it's a beautiful place to just sit and watch as you sail by these amazing landscapes and take pictures and just enjoy the quiet. The river overall feels way more quiet than on a huge ocean cruise ship. And it's just a whole different feel, but they are not crowded. That myth is not true. Okay, here is myth number seven. River cruises aren't flexible. What I mean by that is some people think that river cruises have such rigid itineraries that there's no room to explore on your own. Basically that you can only be in this port for so long and then you have to go to this next port and you have to do all the things that they have scheduled. That is totally false. River cruises, first of all, they're designed to just offer a perfect balance of some structured shore excursions, but also some free time. So at any given destination, if you want to do the excursion that goes with it, you can do the excursion, but then they also allow for some free time after the excursion that you can wander and explore. There are some other excursions that basically you get off the ship in one town and then the ship is going to pick you up in another town. And so you just go on the bikes or make your way from one town to another. And that is kind of a little more independent type of excursion. Of course, you don't have to do any of the included excursions. So you can totally just get off the ship anytime you want to once you're docked and spend as much time in port doing whatever you want at each destination. It's a great combination. There are guided tours with local guides. If you want to just soak up all of that experience and get all of the history and all of the information and all of the background, then go with the guides. They are incredible. They are locals and they know the places inside and out. It is so great to hear their stories and to hear about those destinations. But like I said, you could also venture out on your own and just really do some exploring as much exploring as you want to on your own. 
find some great little cafes or boutiques or attractions, whatever you want. So I feel like river cruises offer the best of both worlds because you get these curated experiences that are so in-depth and local and just feel so authentic. And they are so authentic combined with your own ability to wander around and, you know, get souvenirs or look or do your own things. So, and of course, anytime you want to, you can just stay on board and enjoy relaxing on board. You don't even have to get off if you don't want. So river cruises are super flexible. That is the bottom line. Hey, myth number eight, river cruises are just for history lovers. This is false. You don't have to love history to love river cruising. If you are a nature lover, you will love the landscapes and the wildlife and the opportunities for hiking or biking and getting out into nature. If you are a foodie, this is like huge. First of all, you will love the food on river cruise ships. Oh my goodness. I don't know anybody who doesn't love the food, but also the food they cater to the cuisine of the area that you are sailing through. And so you don't just have the bland, same old, same old Americanized type of food every single day of your cruise. You've got like local foods that they get locally and that they incorporate into the menus every single day. So that is on the ship. You also have a chance if you're a foodie to do like cooking classes, like I mentioned, or a vineyard visit or a culinary demonstration. Like there are so many opportunities to be a foodie on a on a river cruise. Um, art. If you are an art lover, oh my goodness. Of course, there are so many museums and galleries and just all these famous artists that you can see like old and new and just artwork is of course incredible. One of the also top things that you can explore and find out about on a river cruise. Let's say that you are an adventure seeker. If you just want to, you know, be able to get out and move and do the, do all the things, not just be enclosed in museums or inside places. You, there are water sports, there are scenic hikes, there are biking trips. There are all kinds of ways that you can get out and explore, you know, nature in interactive ways. So river cruises are not just for history lovers. Myth number nine is river cruises aren't for active travelers. So you probably can kind of tell just by what I have said up until this point that that is a complete myth because river cruises offer such a variety of activities. You can go on a bike tour along these scenic paths and roads and go through picturesque countryside and villages and all of these things. You can take hiking excursions and you can see like these panoramic viewpoints. You can hike up to castles and hike up to you know, on, on mountains and, and see all kinds of great sights from your viewpoint. Some river cruises even offer like kayaking and paddleboarding, things like that. So there really are ways that you can be active. There are cruise ships that have dedicated wellness specialists on board and they help provide active activities both on board and off. So they'll take active excursioners and they will do active things on board, provide classes and wellness types of things on board as well. So if you are active, don't think that you would not be suited for a river cruise because there are so many great activities that you can do on a river cruise. What do you think? Don't let the wrong idea hold you back from experiencing a river cruise if this is something that sounds interesting to you. Don't let your age hold you back. Don't let your budget hold you back. Don't let anything. If you want relaxation, this wonderful cultural immersion, if you want to explore, river cruises really have a wide variety of options for you. They can't, they are affordable. They are entertaining. They're flexible. They're active, all the things. But if you still have questions about river cruising, I would love to have a conversation. Even if you're not ready to like book anything yet or to commit, please give me a call and let me know what questions you might have, because I would love to sit and talk to you about river cruising. One last invitation. I want you to check out the river cruise that I'm inviting you to go on with me. I am going on a river cruise in France. It's on the Seine River. It begins in Paris and it ends at the beaches of Normandy. It's in October of this year. So it's still 
several months away, enough time to really plan and to be able to jump in and see all of the options. The dates are October 14th through the 21st of 2023. If you would like more information, I really just want you to send me an email and then we can get in touch and talk with more details. Just send an email to info sweetdreamstravel.net. So info, I-N-F-O, and then Sweet Dreams Travel, of course, is spelled like a hotel suite, S-U-I-T-E, dreamstravel.net. Send me a quick email and just say, yes, I'm interested in more info on your river cruise. I just want to know more, or let me know all of the details, or let me know where you're going, or what the pricing is, or whatever you would like to know about the river cruise. I would be really happy to give you all of the details. We are getting down to the wire with the river cruising as far as the best pricing being available. I don't want you to miss out on the best pricing. We're just, we've only got a couple more weeks that that is available, including some pre and post tours if you'd like. So anyway, I, I am not going to spend a lot more time talking about it right now, but if you're interested, just shoot me an email, let me know, and I would be happy to let's set up a time we can talk and I can give you more details or answer any questions that you have. Hopefully you have become more savvy and aware of what a river cruise might be like, and hopefully it's on your list of things to do someday. I love that with river cruising, it's the amazing joy of just unpacking once. I mean, there are so many great ways to see Europe, but I love river cruising because you unpack once at the beginning, and then you just get to relax and enjoy. You don't have to pack up again and go figure out how to travel to the next place and all of that, that transportation stuff and the packing and unpacking and all of that is not even part of the equation. You just get to enjoy the rest of the experience. And I think it's a fabulous way to get to see so many different great parts of the world. So let me know if you want to know more about river cruising and thanks for being here. We'll talk to you later. If you've enjoyed this podcast, I would invite you to like, share, or leave a review. Let's help grow our wellness travel community.